But anyway, I am I am actually really I'm looking forward to seeing who we can get here. Cause I get the feeling it could be Mercedes, cause she's not really affiliated that much with the kingdom. Or it could be it's really hard when it comes to them, right? Because most of them are like vassals to the king or to Dimitri. So I don't know who else. Maybe Ash. And Annette could be them too. Ah, oh, shit! I forgot. How did I forget to do this? Okay, we'll do this one real quick. Oh my God, I was playing SMT5 yesterday, and I, I did, I did buy like what is it, the Mitama DLC, so I can get, so I don't have to grind as much. Cause I know how difficult. SMP games can get. And I'm happy that they added some kind of way to make it a little bit less painful. It's still pretty difficult. Like a random Mudo or Hama can come out of nowhere and still kill you, so. And I did die because I got unlucky. I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, I was fighting one of those red things. And I forgot I was weak to electricity. And the AI just got a little bit smarter. And hit me twice with like a Zio or whatever. What, what are they called? Vyonga. And I died. And then I forgot to save for like... I don't know how long it was. But I, I managed, I did the... Um, what was it? What was that quest? It was the quest where you have to fight all of like the Chinese... Uh, Chinese, um... I don't know what to call them. Are they like guardian spirits? You know, they, they go by their Chinese names now, but they used to... You know, like Suzaku, Byako, and Seiryu? Oh, and Genbu. I had to fight them. And I had to look up a guide because, you know... I need help. And I had just finished that quest. And I didn't save. And then I went back and died. And some of those some of those fights actually took a little bit of time. Just because I had to keep spamming skills. Oh come on, Claude, I know you're faster than this. Heck, you're the one who can fly. I have to run everywhere. And I'm still beating them faster than you. And so I got to the part... Well, first of all, in this place... Where was it? I forgot where it was. I... These names... Like, I know they're, they're based off real places, but my brain... I think... Well, I... It was Akiba. Akihabara? Like, I made it there. Because I had to get to this shrine to turn off certain flames or something, right? Well, technically, you don't even turn them off. You make it there, and they give you a talisman that's like, oh, you can just walk through. But I got lost so much in that area because you can like, fall off, and then you have to find like the places you can jump. And then I made it there, and I got to cert, beat cert, and then I kept going. And where do you end up? I forgot where you end up afterwards. Oh yeah, you end up in this other place, and then they're like, Oh, Ishtar's down there, and you don't want to mess with her because she's all powered up because of these... these I don't even know what to call them. These little monument things. But you can if you want to. And then I... And then I... was like, oh... And I already saw these little pillars, like those red things that you have to like break. That he's like telling you to break. And I kind of got mad because I found a couple already and then it got brought up the dialogue like, I don't know what to do with this, we have to come back later. Like, how am I supposed to remember how I got there? You're like in the middle of nowhere on a cliffside that I can't remember how to get up. And so I had to stop. I could not, there was this one on the map that was like somewhere on the bottom left and I thought I could just run to it. Uh, but it's on like a, uh, a piece of like a, a highway. Or something elevated off the ground that I did not know how the fuck to get to. So I had to stop. I had to stop. 
I had to like take a break. I was getting so mad. It was like getting like Skyrim levels where it's like on the compass, but then all of a sudden you have like a giant ass mountain that you have to. Oh, okay. Oh, and also I was trying to I was trying to see how you can get the um the hidden ending. It, I well, yeah, I guess it is a hidden ending. Cause I knew I didn't know. Well, then again, because I play most of these, like, kind of, I guess, on the law-ish side. I don't know. I try to be as neutral as I can. I know, like, I, like, I try to pick the nicer options or the more merciful options, and then they get mad at me. Like, I remember that one bit in the SMT4 where, where what is it, the dude's friend, what's his name, Flynn, his friend that didn't become a samurai. He turned into a monster, didn't he? Right? Yeah, he, he turned into a monster and you had to like kill him, but you had that choice where it was like you, you want to like kill him or no. I didn't really want to kill him, so I said no, and then the dude was like, "Bruh, just end his suffering or he's even asking you." And I'm like, well, "I'd rather not. I'm like I'd rather not." Like I'm not that type of person. Oh shit. Man, I'm kind of upset that my DS, like first of all, it's, it's gathering dust, but at the same time, I think it it's at the point now where I think I messed up the battery or whatever so much, either from use or from just keeping it plugged in a lot, that it can't, it can't stay like five seconds without bl starting to blink red. When I if I pull, if I unplug it, you know what I would want though I would want the 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 2DS like what is it what is, is it called the new 2DS? Oh wait I think it can go that way. The new 2DS the one that has like the flip it can flip because I didn't really like the uh, design for the regular 2DS it kind of looked it looked funny to me. Oh yeah like the two like what is it the new 2DS XL, which is basically like. The new 3D. Oh shit! Wait, how do I? Oh, there you go. It's basically like the new 3DS, but it just doesn't have the 3D function that I never used because it was so jarring. Like I get it for some games, but most of the time I never used it. So I'm like, oh, that'd be perfect. It's still expensive. Oh, I would also want one with like a capture card. There are some games that I feel like would be really fun to play. Although, I don't know if you have to get that, like, custom built or whatever. Or if it's just gonna cost extra. Like, oh, you want one with a capture card? Then you're gonna have to pay extra. I think I'm past time. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. No S rank for me. But I had this game. What was it? Weapons Day Omase? that shit I don't know why level 5 has like the magic touch when it comes to games I don't really know why like, I don't know who like a yokai watch a dragon dragon quest dragon quest 8 I don't know if they do I think they do all of them right but I love dragon quest 8 it's probably my favorite one 11 was pretty good too I'm still waiting for the day where you can like kind of choose your gender with like yokai watch. <gasps> oh my god, I could play yokai watch. That's gonna be like a long ass. That would have been like a long ass series if that happens. We'll see in the future. Maybe I can. Maybe I can find something or work something out. And there's some Pokemon games, I guess. Although I do already have, I have the emulator, like the 3DS emulator. And I think there was like a ROM hack of um, Ultra Sun, and they was like, oh, and they made it more difficult, and they made all the Kahunas have like six Pokemon. Like I think Olivia has a Tyranitar or something. And it's like, oh, they made it more challenging and like level. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Level focused. Uh, 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 like it'd probably be really hard to over level or something. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I was just waiting for something new to show up. Like, can you imagine? I 
Like if you are walking around somewhere and you find like a wild Charmander, I would love that. Okay, so we might be fighting Felix here. Right, that's his dad. Alright, we already fought him. Well, yeah, we already fought him in the- in the-, the oh my god. Oh, I knew it. God damn. Oh yeah, I was powering up Byleth and Gerald. And yeah, I made him into a bishop. He was ridiculous. Huh, I, you know what? I guess I made my uh, my party. You know what? That's perfect. Actually, let's switch to them. That's perfect. Oh yeah, and then I you, you freak, Byleth's moves move set is like you're the freaking avatar. Like what? Do they have like uh, power over all these elements? Oh, except ice. I think I don't think she, I don't think she has an ice move. We're on the wrong side, or maybe not. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so maybe I should I'll switch ball this. And then you fight that guy. I think. Oh, 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 oh. Did I not tell her? Oh no, I didn't tell her to fight anyone. God damn it. Okay, we should fight that one. And then he'll fight this one. There you go. Everyone split up. Alright, I'm not gonna use Ash, but I'd rather not kill anyone if I don't have to. A Yuri was an accident and I restarted the level after that. He doesn't count. <laughs> Just spam the special on him right when I saw him. Forgot to press the button. Oh, I was like, how come they're all on this side? Because they're only good against people on this side. Alright, Hilda. Oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> it's like everyone knew, it's like, oh shit, ambush happening, better run all the way up there. See, I knew, I felt like, okay, he wouldn't switch sides, although maybe eventually he will, because, I mean, we fought Petra before and she still joined us, but he... And also, I know Felix doesn't really like Dimitri, he calls him a bore all the time. What? Excuse me, I was in the middle of hitting you. You can't just ignore me like that. Hey. I can't believe they don't have, like, the final... Uh, what's, like, the... Is there even, like, a final, like, master class for, like, a... Like, a, a an axe person on the ground? I feel like there was. What's the one all the way? Okay, somebody, somebody, somebody. I don't know if they can reach it. Alright, so she's gonna have to go really fucking fast. Wait, can I can control her, right? No, okay, okay, okay. Who's the last one? Oh, fuck. Wow, oh, shit. Alright, we're just gonna have to fly all the way there. Never mind. It Actually, who can run faster? Byleth or me? They should have picked somebody else, I don't think. Oh! Alright, if I fly all the way out there. Oh, shit. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, sorry, Violet. Your services won't be needed here. Oh my god. Speaking of, like, reviving dead handheld consoles from the grave, you know what? I started... Because I remembered... I remembered, yet, yeah, like, last night that I had, um... Does anyone remember the Vita? I know, I know. I can't get rid of mine, so I'm keeping it. But I kind of lost all my physical games. And then I remembered that I bought... Uh... I bought the, the Vita TV, or the PS TV. Where you play the Vita on the TV. And I thought that I thought it was, like, super nice, you know? Because, I mean, I like, if only the... D I mean, I guess the DS wouldn't be able to since it has like. Well, this thing has a touch screen too. Although you can kind of. Con I think you can configure it. I 
I think he looks better. It might be the hair that's kind of throwing me off. I bitch, you and me both. Where is he? And so I remember that I couldn't get rid of Freedom Wars. Does anyone remember Freedom Wars? I remember it actually being pretty good. Just some of the controls were kind of iffy. Oh, and like how it runs. I mean, it's a, it's like a solid 30, I guess. But since we're so used to, you know, only 60 FPS, like 1080p or 4K, whatever. I'm like, oh, you know, but it still plays good like if they like i kind of like playing it made me wish that they made another one maybe i like an improved version because it's basically like god eater but different wait what happened to oh my god and so i was like oh damn i remember i had to re-download like every game that i that i bought on on the store Took me, took all like all night or something. Took like eight hours or something for all of them. But I had like there were some good games on there. I wonder if see I was like um like the PSP ones, Fate Extra. I don't even think you can find that anymore on the store. Fate Extra. There was a Harvest Moon game. There was a Harvest Moon game. There was um. It was that game, The Third Birthday, which I guess was like a... Is it a prequel to... Would it Parasite Eve? I mean, that's on there too. And I was like, huh, there's actually a lot of good shit. And then I saw... Oh my god, I saw... That, um, whatchamacallit, what was it called? It was like a launch game, Soul Sacrifice. And I remembered it, and I was like, oh, I think I remember it being okay. But then they were like, oh, 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 if you're, if you're gonna, uh, you should get the Delta version. It's like new and improved, it has like better combat, it's just better all, all around. Or whatever. And I'm like, oh, damn, that sound, that actually sounds cool. And get this, I see on Amazon it's going for like 300 bucks. And all the rev and these reviews are like, oh, it's definitely worth the price. I don't think so. There was, uh, I remember a few good games. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna play it because it's gonna take too long. And it's a little bit confusing. What was it? There was Oreshka. Is that what it was called? Tainted Bloodlines? That one was interesting. I do have to say, I was just mad that it was—it had like the whole, like al it almost had like the whole Zanky Zero. It's like, oh, you know, after a certain time or whatever passes, you die, and then you have to like, I will like create a bunch of kids with the gods, which I guess was interesting. But I would spend too long like in these damn dungeons. <gasps> Man, you know, I don't even know if I would be, if I would play this because I think I remember the levels being semi long. But I think is Valkyria Chronicles on there? It is a PSP game, but I just don't know if it's like. I have to check this. But I'm, I, 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 I would, I guess, play it. Because I don't know, Valkyria Chronicles. The second one for some reason is probably like my favorite. I played. Well, they skipped. Three for some reason they skipped Valkyria three. They had like a weird spin-off, I think. Valkyria Revolution. It was called. I can't remember. I didn't play that one. But there's just something about like the school setting that just is like oh, like it's kind of nice. Even though even though they were like in the middle of a war and shit. Oh, and then, like, what is it? There's some certain girls that can shoot laser beams or some shit. Also, the tanks. I just get, oh my god, the tanks. I can't with them. I did play Valkyria 4, and it was okay. I do think that, like, the grenade people, or I don't know what to call them, the mortar people? I think they were kind of OP just because they, like, when they got in range, it just 
it just started shooting you automatically or just, I don't even know what, what do they call it I'm not a military person what do they call it they just like they shoot the grenades is it even grenades that they shoot anyway I thought it was kind of unfair that they did that because they had like a long ass range that's what I remember oh there was some in night five which I remember I ran into an issue when I was trying to like get their abilities and shit I don't know why it would always like see that there was like an error or something I thought he was the Duke who's the Duke I mean, how do we decide who we're killing and who we're, like, knocking the fuck out? Like, what? Well, I guess we're not getting Sylvain. I would be content with a Mercedes, though. Like, can we get a Mercedes, please? Not that it's- well, I mean, I don't have it. You Literally, I have no opinion. It's kind of both of these. <laughs> I do think that's a big problem with this damn kingdom. They're too set on like traditional values of knighthood and shit. Which is probably why I like Felix. Because like his dad, like his brother died and then his dad was like, oh no, he... He sacrificed himself in the name of our whatever, our king or whatever, and then Felix is like, that's just stupid. You can't protect anyone if you're all, if you're fucking dead, so what's the point? I mean, I didn't intend for him to die, but at the same time, like, like how does it pick and choose? Like, every time we beat, we beat, like, Felix and his dad, I forgot his name, like, they just retreated. But then we kill this guy? I don't know. Game logic. Oh yeah, are we still not, like... Are we still not allied with the Empire? Man, maybe they're just salty from... <laughs> they're just salty with us. Man, when do we get together to fight the forces of evil? They had a name, but I mean, like, they just call them those who slither in the dark. I mean, they might- I mean, you know what? The Empire might be attacking them from the south. Wow, this is like faster than us fighting the Empire. We're already trying to fight their capital. And all I got was Ash. I do kind of wish our camp looks like it gets upgraded. Or maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe it did? I don't actually know. Do commanders, what is it? Do commanders count as like, but they count as like the bosses? Like the ones that, the fuck it. I'm just gonna leave it like this. But yeah, I spent like all my money and resources or smithing stones on rapiers. On one rapier. I got it up to like plus 50 something. First of all, because I could. And then second of all, apparently they're really, really, really good. Because now, since there aren't any more like spear people on the ground, they're all mounted units now. All the spear people are mounted units. So might as well. It's a good investment. I probably did a little bit too much though. Alright, let's hope that the next person we get is Mercedes. I don't know, maybe she'll get the Dorothea treatment like she just dropped off the face of the earth. <gasps> Fuck! Okay, you're kind of fucked over there, lady. Kind of far. Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to save you. Just don't die. I'd appreciate it if you don't die. And if I don't get stuck. Wait, I want to beat all these people just to get their shit. What's like a good- like I keep googling, you know, like oh, what are the best like Vita games? I knew there were a lot of dungeon crawlers. It was a good thing for- <gasps> you speaking of dungeon crawlers, I had that game- Oh shit, what was it called? Mind- Mind Zero? That was basically Persona. But like a dungeon crawler Persona. Oh, I guess- Persona is technically a dungeon crawler, but like I mean like it, Was it first person? Was it a first person? I remember the battles being like 3D and they had their personas And the guy had like a scythe looking thing and there was like a person with a gun And there was like, I don't know, it was kind of crazy And I remember it was okay I actually don't really 
I I guess it was okay. I did buy it and I was like, oh, I mean, it was pretty good. I didn't get that far. This is a good one to like grind materials since they they dump a bunch of generals. Oh, do they? Is that what they call them? I don't know what's like. Are they like they're like elite? Oh, I have little king's story. Is that what it's called? It what kind of reminded me of something like Pikmin. I remember it actually really liking that game. That was probably one of the first games that I ever bought on that damn thing. Also, it was like a Wii game, wasn't it? First, it was a Wii game first, and then I guess it. I think I remember the the prince dude looking a lot more bishonen than the Wii version. Like, I still have I still have a lot of uh, 3DS games too. And I do have Persona Q too, even though I did not make it that far. You know what I did want though, and I can't seem to find it anywhere? I wanted Yokai Watch 3. That's what I wanted. Yokai Watch 3. I have the first two, and I made it pretty. F I, got, I wouldn't say pretty far in the first one. I played it. I like, okay, this design right here, way better than what they gave her. After five years. I think most of the people that I want to use are kind of like at their maximum, maximum potential. I, I still have to double check. I think some people, like there are some skills, like there's like a warrior skill. That what did they do? Oh, there was like one skill that up damage if they had a battalion equipped. And I was like, oh, that's perfect, because they all have one equipped all the time. Although some of them can't freaking learn it. I'm st I'm also sad that nobody can learn Aether. They can learn Soul and Luna. I don't know if anyone can actually- I think- I think of all people, Leone is the only one that can learn both. At least for the ones that I want to use. I know she can learn Soul, and I think she can learn Luna. You have to be a great knight. And I'm mad that I can't, can't even get Aether, which I'm mad about because Aether is OP as shit. Can you imagine if you, if, if when you use the amiibo, when you use the amiibo for certain characters, like if I use the, um, I think they're all, they all have something. Like if I use the uh, amiibo for Ike, like there's like a small chance I can get Ragnell. Can you imagine? Oh my, I would love that shit. Just for the aesthetics. I don't know. I don't even know what it would do. It could shoot beams. I don't freaking know. I always did find it unfair that it can hit two spaces away. Oh, I went the wrong way. Like Ragnell can get uh. Oh, what you call it? A falchion? The exalted falchion? I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't even have him. I don't know what Roy's blade is called. Thoron isn't a weapon in this game. It's a skill, and I'm kind of. A, I mean, it's like uh, Robin's go-to. It's like the cannon spell. Book. It's a book. Tome. Like, it kind of makes me want more amiibos, but at the same time, probably not. Oh, does Byleth get the creator sword in this game? It's kind of like their their weapon 